Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be building a custom 3D printed FPV drone. All the parts will be linked down in the description below. We'll start by going through the part list and what you will need. Flight controller and ESC. I'll be using the Mamba F405 mini stack. It's a 25 amp 3 to 4 cell. It's a very great and reliable stack. So you'll need a VTX and a receiver and some motors. Next up is the FPV camera. I have designed two different 3D printed models. One is for the 19mm camera and one is for the 25mm camera. As for the actual frame, I will be using the GT205 inch. It is a 4mm thick carbon fiber frame. Finally, we will need some screws and a soldering iron, some solder and a basic tool kit. In this build, we will start by mounting the camera to the 3D printed frame. Using the screws you receive with your camera. For the next step, I'll be grabbing my 3D printed part along with my carbon fiber frame, placing it over the print, securing it with the four screws and nuts. Once that's out of the way, you can take a look at how to install the motors to the ESC. At this point we can start mounting the ESC and motors to the frame. After mounting the motors to the frame and doing some cable management, we can now take a closer look at the flight controller. With the magic of off-camera soldering, we can now move on to mounting the flight controller, VTX and receiver to the quad.
This is the point of the build where I'll bind my receiver to my transmitter. Using the FlySky FSI6, by holding down the bind button while powering on the remote, you put your transmitter into binding mode. Press and hold the bind button on your receiver while plugging in the battery. You will notice that the indicator on the receiver is now permanently red, indicating a successful bind. At this stage the build part of the drone is complete and if you guys have noticed <laughs> a certain cap that is missing, um, you'll see in a sec. This is Alistair, aka, right let's get his ears straight, aka Fruit Bat. <laughs> um, he's a border collie husky cross, he's probably about 14 weeks old now, I might be mistaken, I'm not keeping track really. But uh, as you can see, he's very playful. Like, he's impossible. He never stops. He's always chewing on something. And when he's not chewing on something, he's chewing on some one. If you just give him half a chance, then go on other fingers. Luckily, he's very gentle. Just get a look at those eyes. Isn't he gorgeous? So this introduction is taking place so that you guys will understand why there is no capacitor on that drone's power lead. Because, sir, got hold of the last one that we had and ate it until there was nothing left of it insert image here and um, we aren't able to import any more right now we haven't gotten around to trying to track one down locally so there's supposed to be a capacitor but thank you Alistair there aren't any at the moment and that'll have to be good enough thanks guys have a great one thank you guys for watching I'll do a part 2 on the beta flight setup for this drone. In the meanwhile, be safe and we'll see you later.